This is a follow-up film to the first one we produced entitled The Secret Name of God. We highly recommend that you watch that film first if you have not already done so. In this film, let's investigate the ideographic meaning of the Hebrew letters for the name of Jesus and for a particular claim that Jesus makes about himself. As you know, an ideogram is a symbol that represents an idea, like the male and female shaped signs that you see on the outside of public restroom doors. Hebrew letters have had ideographic meanings since ancient times. There are several ideographic meanings for each of the letters. Aleph, for example, the first letter of the Hebrew alphabet, can mean both ox or bull. Bet, the second letter, can represent the words house or tent. In each case, the ideas represented by the letters are closely related. With all of this in mind, using the ideographic meanings of Hebrew letters accepted by Jewish scholars throughout the centuries, let us examine the name of Jesus as it is written in Hebrew and a particular claim that Jesus makes about himself. First, the name of Jesus. Jesus' name is pronounced Yeshua in the Hebrew. His name is formulated from the Hebrew letters Yud, Shin, Wa, and Ayin. What do each of these letters represent or mean in the Hebrew ideograms? Yud represents the idea of making or creating. Shin represents the idea of consuming or destroying. Wa represents the idea of adding or securing. Ayin represents the idea of knowing or seeing or experiencing. Stringing these thoughts together then, from the four letters that make up the name of Jesus, one can accurately arrive at this meaning. Yeshua, the one who creates, the one who destroys, the one who secures, and the one who knows and wishes you to experience him, Yeshua. Now for the claim that Jesus made of himself. This claim comes from the book of Revelation. Jesus declares in Revelation chapter 1 verse 8, I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, says the Lord, who is and who was and who is to come, the Almighty. Of course, Alpha and Omega are the Greek words for the first and last letters of the Greek alphabet. If Jesus said this in Hebrew, he would have said, I am the Aleph and the Ta, again the first and last letters of the Hebrew alphabet. What are their ideograms? First, the Aleph. The symbol for the Aleph is the bull. The idea represented is one of a leader or the first or one of strength. This is particularly interesting because any student of the Old Testament knows that just as Jesus literally fulfilled the prophecies of the Passover lamb, he also fulfills the Old Testament sacrificial system of the bull that was required for the sins of the high priest. Since Jesus is the great high priest without sin, he also becomes that sin offering, the bull. The Aleph speaks to him being the sinless high priest of the universe in the very same way that the Passover lamb speaks to what Jesus did on Calvary's cross. And the Ta, the last letter of the Hebrew alphabet. Its meaning is the covenant or the seal. The attachment of this symbol to the person and work of Jesus is unmistakable. He is our new covenant with God. His Holy Spirit is our seal. It is through the blood of Jesus that we enter into covenant relationship with God. And what is the symbol of the Ta? Since the most ancient of times, the symbol of the covenant or the seal to the ancient Hebrew with the letter Ta was the sign of, of all things, a cross. The name of Jesus declares Yeshua the one who creates, the one who destroys, the one who secures, and the one who knows, and the one who wishes you to experience him. The claim of Jesus as first and last declares, I am the great high priest, sinless and interceding for you, sealed by the covenant that I made at Calvary's cross.